Hill Park and we hiked through Manhattan's last remaining wild forest and I'll link that video in the description if you haven't seen it. Well today I am taking you to a park right nearby for some more incredible urban hiking in Manhattan. Hey hey, Jessie here from Jessie on a Journey and NYC Photo Journeys coming to you live from the stunning 66 acre Fort Tryon Park. Now most people come to this park solely to visit the Met Cloisters and see their incredible collection of medieval art from Europe, but I think it's also worth spending time in the surrounding nature. Now fun fact, Fort Tryon Park actually is the same architect as Central Park and sitting at 200 feet above sea level, it's also one of Manhattan's highest points offering stunning views of the George Washington Bridge, the New Jersey Palisades, and the Hudson River. This park is also full of trails of varying difficulties, from short and, and flat to longer trails that have more hills. Today we're going to be actually doing the 1.25 mile giant horseshoe trail. Super excited to show you. And by the way, I would love to know in the comments, what are your favorite urban hiking trails in Manhattan? I am always looking for new places to get outdoors and immerse myself in nature. Now before we hit the trails, I want to direct your attention to the description of this video where I've linked my free NYC local guide. This guide features my favorite things to do in New York City, really unique experiences that will take you beyond the guidebook and just let you have an incredible day in New York. So feel free to even pause this video to go grab that. And once you're back, let's strap on those hiking boots and hit the trail. Chinese food containers and your McDonald's cups when you come to the park. What's really neat about Fort Tryon Park is there's not just a ton of attractions, there's also all these like hidden kind of trails around that you can explore and get lost in. Saturday morning, not even noon yet, and I've already gotten in my daily dose of nature and views. I feel so good. So just a few tips to leave you with. 
Get here as early as possible. This park is always pretty peaceful, but the earlier you get here, the more you can have this beauty all to yourself. Also, while the landscape is rugged, the pads are actually usually paved for the most part, so sneakers are totally fine. Also, bring snacks, bring water, um, spend some time just sitting and relaxing and enjoying the beauty and the views. You will not be disappointed. And finally, make sure to grab that free NYC local guide that I've linked in the description. It'll just help you have a really fun, unique day in New York. And make sure to subscribe for future videos on travel and travel blogging. Happy trails.